Howdy, YouTube neighbors. Uh, JC Locke back with some more Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. I've uh, just got a lot on my mind right now, so uh, and I'm honestly not enjoying Inkbound as much as I was really hoping I would. So I'm going to unwind and play uh, several games through of uh, the demo currently of Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. So, but this is just going to be uh, just some runs strung back to back. You know, no, no particular rhyme or reason to it at all. Just, uh, you know, have a good time. See if we can see any more of the game than we've already seen. So, let's get to it. Alrighty. So, at this point in the demo, there's really not much value in taking diamonds. Uh, because there's just not enough to spend the, the chips on so far. So... We're going to lay off diamonds for a little bit, despite the fact that once, you know, this game is fully up and running, that's probably going to be my go-to suit. Um, I, I, want, I want a clubs run, I think, this time around. Let's do clubs. Alright, good old bartender. That's not a great start. But we'll get, we'll get through it. Thirteen. Well, I'm not going to hit on 18, so it doesn't really matter what else he's got in the deck. <laughs> so there's no point in counting yet. Seventeen. Three bad hits out of seven. We're going to stand on 17. Thirteen. All right, so... What's left in the bartender's deck at this point? Ace, two. Two gets him to 17. And we'll take four damage. Ace gets him to 16. He most likely busts. Five gets him, five gets him to 20. Six gets him to 21. And then seven, nine, and 10 bust him. There's a one in four chance of busting here. I think, I think it's worth the risk. We're gonna take it. All right. Well, we can't really go any further at this point. That's a one in three chance of busting. I'd rather take four damage than twenty. So we're gonna stand. Curse our luck a little bit. Speaking of, all right. I'm gonna take that so that I have. One less damage I take, so I'm going to take six instead of seven. It's kind of an unlucky start for us. But there we go. That's lethal, because we have clubs. <laughs> All right. So, I love expulsion in the context of Terminate the Tower. I do not like it by itself because it's it's way too risky with it with with uh, terminate the tower it goes to your hand and you can play it whenever you want with just expulsion by itself it plays whenever it feels like and statistically you're pretty much on equal standing to uh receive double damage and you are deal it out i still don't like the uno plus two I like the Q card in theory, but we're we don't have anything to build around it yet. So we're gonna take the random card and see what we get. It's a loyalty card, okay. So we still don't really have anything going for us yet. Twelve. Three bad hits out of twelve. We pretty much have to take the risk. Three bad hits out of eleven, we still take the risk. Alright. One shot against the drunk. Still not feeling any of this. Alright, that's a jack of all trades. That's a very nice card. We still don't really have a direction for the deck yet. I... I think I'm just going to remove a card. 
And realistically, I think we still just purge a six here. All right, we're up at the gambler. 20. All right, that works. We don't have a win condition, so we basically just play blackjack until our opponent's dead. It's not a great solution. What's the odds of me? Oh, where's my ace? I've already seen it. I had not realized that. <laughs> it's, it's not a great plan in this game, but it's all we can do for now. Okay. That's a 21 of diamonds. That's a Charizard. I don't have any means of burning cards in play, so I cannot protect myself from the 21 of diamonds. Strangely, if I were running hearts instead of clubs, I might, I might still take it on. Because if it does turn against me, I can eventually heal that damage. But I don't, so I won't. Hmm. Charizard is basically a 10 value right now, and... Yeah, it's 10 value with some insurance... But it's still not putting us any closer to a win condition for the deck. So we're going to take a yet another random, and it's a, it's a blank card. Okay. Um, you know what? There's nothing in this deck that I would be terribly sad to lose. So we're going we're gonna to do the cheap room. And we just lost the blank card we just drafted. Nothing of value was honestly lost. Just keep playing that old blackjack. I'll take one damage here, sure. Fifty-fifty shot of busting against an 18. One in six chance of hitting blackjack with a jack of all trades. And then a two in six chance of reducing damage. Um, only because the jack of all trades is in play, I will, I will take the 50-50. We're going to hit. Yeah, we busted. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Yeah, there's no upside to playing any more cards. So we're going to stand. Alright, we get through this one. Still no help. That's a victim card. Okay, here's Terminate the Tower. That at least gives us some direction. What's this? Calamari game card. If this, Oh yeah, if this card is in play when the opponent is killed, then gain... Thousand chips. Negative ace of clubs is unfortunate. I'm curious. We've never played with the memory card before, at least not to my knowledge. Does the memory card remember between games? What is in here. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to we're going to do what I like to call in the in the roguelike deck building world suffering for science and terminate the tower. We see terminate the tower, we take terminate the tower. So now, I believe we start building around terminate the tower. The little time we have left in this run. And 20 is where we stand. With the janitor, I want expulsion. 
I'm basically looking to hit 15 or higher when he busts, and we found it, so that's lethal. Ooh, okay, gonna take a Dark Mage for sure. Choose a card from your draw, player discard pile to burn and permanently remove from your deck. Love that. Deals the next three cards in your draw pile. Like that. Opponent cannot hit again this round. That's interesting. Very random, though. I'm gonna start curating a deck. We're gonna choose Death. Ha <laughs> One business card down. Two business cards down. Enjoy my three. We got one left. And that's all three. All right. So now we know where we stand. All right. I would like to remember Terminate the Tower. Okay. Let's look. Uh, there is no love for us here in the remainder of our deck. So... We're going to play the victim card. We're going to take six damage and stand. Mm, still not working for us. Uh, we'll take two damage here. We'll deal a point of damage here. Terminate the tower somewhere in the deck. There we go. Against the manager. I think we're I think it's another expulsion play. All right. This is not our moment. We'll do some damage with 19, and we'll call it. Okay, there's the final business card. All right. Um, I would like to burn that five. Okay. All right. Let's select break limits. I need a 14 or higher. And we have lethal. That's 17. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break his queen. And now we're going to expulsion and stand. Hmm. We have a good thing going. Let's not mess with it. For a moment there, I thought the lounge could be entered. All right, giant rat. Nope, it doesn't remember between games. That is unfortunate. Um, I would like to recall... Yeah, I want to recall Terminate the Tower. Alright, this is going to hurt. I'm going to play the victim card here. And increasing the, the giant rat's numbers um, actually puts him in a position where he can bust sometimes. So, I'm okay with taking 18 damage here. Not, you know, okay, okay, but... Yeah. Alright, 7 comes next. To get purged. We're going to stand on 20. Still looking for Terminate the Tower. Alright, got a Dark Mage. Love to see that. Got ourselves a Blackjack. So, this is lethal if he has 18 or less. Yeah, 18 or less. We're going to stand. Yep, that's lethal. Alright. So there's the double back card again. 
this is this is, card is very valuable in, in in what I like to call delay decks. The uh, four mana seven seven is the primary example, and I would love to do a video based just on that alone at some point. Uh, but no, we're not taking any of this. We are on the purge plan. We want to get rid of our stuff. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I think now five, six, seven is gone. We're gonna wait. Work our way backwards. We're now gonna hit the four. Hmm. Only two, three, four, only six good hits out of 12. It's a 50-50. Now is not our moment. I think now is a we take six damage moment. Um, for memory card, I actually would like to remember the ace. Um... Setting his bus limit to 18 means that he stands on 14. That's really good for us, for his deck. <sighs> yeah, we're going to sweep the leg, and we're going to play it now. Well, no, that was a misplay. We should have waited until he was 18 or over, and then played it then to get the bus, the damage on the bust. Uh, he's going to stay on 14 now, though, which is good for us. We can basically just bleed him to death now over the course of the remainder of this run, watching him stand on 14. Hmm. So he's busted on 19. Alright. We're gonna hit to get Dark Mage in my hand. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bad hits out of 11. We're not gonna get greedy here. We're just gonna do 13 damage. Hmm. I don't know. The possibility of a blackjack exists here with a with the jack of all trades. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to hit and we'll save ourselves with dark mage if we have to. We have to. Uh, all right. So we are going to tribute that 10 and we're going to stand. The risk was worth taking. We had insurance in hand. So now what I want to do... is... I don't know if Break Limits is going to keep over time, but I think right now Break Limits is my play. All right, he's going to stand on that 16. And we are going to blackjack. We are going to do... Uh, we're going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> we're going to do... F 5 plus 21. We're going to do 26 damage here. And we'll stand on 19. Oh yeah, this is game over for him. Alright, Decromancer is down.
There's value in a cue card right now, but I think we're on the oops all tens plan. We're gonna keep purging. All right, the collector. I would love to give you my two for that discard. Yeah, you're not touching my Terminate the Tower, and I don't want a plus two Uno card. I mean, I'm going to be getting it at some point regardless, because it's going to go into my discard pile when uh, he discards it, but it is what it is. All right. We had one good trade. Let's get to it. Trap card is in play. Okay. Nineteen twenty. Okay, I would love to take one damage here. I'd love to play the victim card for. Oh no! Oh no! No! I needed to. I need to be one above him to get rid of the trap card. I misplayed that too. <laughs> Did I mention I'm not 100% in my right... Oh, I can't discard a card that's locked? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Suffering for science. <laughs> Alright, now... We're gonna get rid of the three. Okay, we're about to fill out our loyalty card. You know, I am keen on, right now, breaking the limits of that jack-of-all trades. I'm actually going to do that. I can do 20 damage here, and I think that's the right call. Oh! <laughs> How? How did I forget the trap card was in play? So yeah, this is this is me with a with a fairly optimal deck playing very suboptimally. Alright. I don't have an ace left. We're gonna stand on 20 this turn. And then stand on 19 next turn. Oh my god! Oh, that that yeah, that friggin' Uno plus two. All right, then. Why is that Charizard? Oh, yeah, because of my victim card. Hmm. I'll keep a 19. Yep, we're going to stand on 20, and that's lethal. Alright, so that's the Oops All Tens deck. <laughs> this is this, How many times am I going to get the, the very sweet blank card after the Collector? <laughs> I'm not going to get to play it, because that's the end of the demo. Alright, so like I said, that's, that's the Oops All Tens deck, where you basically take death and purge everything you can that's not a 10 face card or ace as best you can. And uh, basically just uh, swing with 10s and 20s the entire game. Or, I'm sorry, with 20s and uh, 21s the entire game. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can get another run in. All right, starting a new one. This time, let's see, I... Still can't justify taking spades because of the power level presented by clubs and hearts. Still can't justify taking diamonds because there's no, uh, there's not enough value to spend it on so far in the demo. So, uh, eeny meeny miny hearts. Another round against the bartender. Stand on 19. All right, nice quick round against the bartender. Hmm. So, of the Terminate the Tower cards, Scratch really is the only one that I would consider. 
Yeah, I don't like credit card this early. Scratch is really the only one I would consider drafting on its own. Because there's no downside to it. It's just basically free damage. Um... Go ahead and take Scratch. We'll, we'll call this... Uh, Scratch is not a card you can build a deck around. Alright, 13. There are... Four bad hits out of 12 against the Drunk, who is likely to bust. I'm going to stand on 13. Yep. That was the right call against the Drunk. Uh, if you want to know why I stood on 13, see my, uh, my strategy video. Okay, now, this, this is interesting stuff. Uh, there is no world in which I draft a random card. There just isn't. Way too much risk for very little reward. Oh, it looks like a glitch get out of jail free card. I just now realized that. That's really cool. Joker, very solid card. Trap card plays itself and then gets out of the way. I like the trap card here because we have incidental damage with Scratch, and that's another source of incidental damage. We can basically just play blackjack and let the let the damage come and essentially uh, scratch and trap card represents our advantage over the house. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I don't see myself playing through my deck a whole lot yet. I would love to because, you know, Scratch is a thing. So now that we have Scratch, now that we have Trap Card, we are going to kind of be looking for negative value cards to ensure that we can play out as much of our deck as we can. Especially high value negative cards. I'm not seeing Loyalty Deck as particularly valuable to us. Uh, at this point, we are we're essentially on the... Start scrubbing the statistically bad cards out of our deck plan. 16. Alright, he is likely to bust. Oh no, he did not bust. And we did not match his 11. Alright, so, uh, that's just a stroke of bad luck. It happens. Nothing you can do about it. Good news is Lucky Stars do not have a suit, so... where He's not going to get a shield for it, he's not going to hurt us for it. Alright, there's Scratch. We're going to take two more damage. He can't be this lucky forever. Oh yeah, there we go. Deal a little bit more incidental damage, heal up. Dang it. Alright, so... I'm going to hit knowing that we have a trap card to protect us. Okay, that's a scratch. Alright, 14. Alright, so he can take the 20 damage instead, and that's lethal. This is pretty much the exact opposite of what we want to see. We'll take Hall Pass. It's a free card, gives us information. So, cheap room. There are two extremely bad hits for cheap room. Two out of 15. I think it's worth doing. Alright, we burn an 8. Not my first choice, but it's not... It's... It, it gets a card out of our deck. It allows us to cycle through our deck more for the incidental damage. 14 on a 25. Uh, we're just going to take the 14 damage and be happy about that. Well, we're going to deal the 14, not take it. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a quick round against the poker player. 
Uh, negative two of diamonds does not do it for me. There's 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 more downside than upside, even in the context of our deck. And likewise for the negative two of clubs. We're looking for basically sevens or higher in the in the negative cards, so we skip here. Okay, uh, negative eight of diamonds is exactly what we were looking for. And that's kind of it. That's all he has to offer us. Alright, trap card is in play. Do we hit on 13? Four bad hits out of 10. We just healed up to full, so I'm okay with playing conservatively taking seven damage. Oh, no, I should have busted because I had the trap card. I did not play that right. I keep forgetting about the trap card. Hard, hard to misplay a 21 here, so... <laughs> well, Scratch is lethal when we can find it. And, you know, so is him busting when we have 17. So, we take the wins we get. Hmm. We have plenty of chips. Trump card goes to hand. So, that's definitely a good card for us. Alright, no death. That would have been perfect. Locks in 11 of hearts to players' play pile. Burns. Um, no. Valentine's card, ace of hearts. Another six lovers. No. High Priestess. Real next card is... Okay. High Priestess gives us information. Can't beat that. Alright, we got a five showing up. Alright. Well, he stood on 17. Oh, man. Four bad hits out of 14. At full health against a 17, I'm willing to risk it. Okay, there's the trap card. And we have 21. So, yeah, our risk paid off. Now, admittedly, we don't get a whole lot of value out of that 21 because we were already at full. Trap card is in play. Alright. Scratch is now out. Alright. 21 on 17. Once again, we're just dealing some damage on that blackjack. That's the downside of hearts. If you're at full, it doesn't give you any more benefit. But... It's still better than, say, uh, he stole my trap card. So, lesson learned. You can, in fact, steal locked cards. So that's that's a thing we need to keep in mind now. All right, so we've got a trump card and a jack coming up. Hmm. Okay, we'll take two damage from this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. And then it burns the trap card. Okay. Okay, he's busted. I'm going to go ahead and hit. Alright, so that's perfect. 21. We didn't even need to use our trump card. And that's lethal. So we're going to stand. We're going to heal the fool. That's about as good as that could have gone, honestly. Get an IGL free. It's free. It adds to your hand. We take it. All right, the giant rat. Here is where Scratch is super nice for us. Because giant rat is a patience game. Instead of waiting for him to bust, we can just scratch him. Hmm, 16. We're going to stand on 16. We're just going to watch him play out his entire deck here. Alright, one point of damage wasn't bad. Alright, 21. Looking good. Oh, wow. We got a 13 looking at us up ahead. Not in love with that. Okay, we can get that up to 15 and put the trap card into play. 
if we bust now, that's lethal. So, we are going to do that. All right. Negative nine of diamonds. Love to see that. He gets a 10, he gets a 10. Not much we can do about it. Yep. Once again, grave cards are uh, suitless, so no added benefit to the blackjack. Scratch two and four. All right, let's scratch him. Get up to 18. And I'm keen on taking just one damage here. Oh, the trap card was a blitz. I keep forgetting about the trap card. All right, kids, don't play as bad as I do. One bad hit out of four, and I have a get out of jail free. So we take it. All right, we got the negative eight. So we are now free to draw the rest of our deck. Well, are we? Yeah, I want to draw one more. All right, perfect. We'll take two. Scratches up to five. Hmm. We have 21 coming up. That's great. That's great news for us. Once again, we are trying to play through our deck as much as possible. I'm going to hit. Okay, we'll stand on 20. And once again, I'm playing aggressively because I have the get-out-of-jail-free card. Just keep that incidental damage going. Play as many cards as we can. Get that scratch out as often as we can. Uh, man, we got a 2 coming up. That ain't great. Scratch is now doing 7. I'm willing to hit again. I want to hit again. And we're going to stand. Because that doesn't hurt us. And once again, we're not trying we're not looking for a specific score. We are looking to get as many we're looking to get through our deck as many times as we can, keep scratching and just keep doing the incidental damage as we have it. Scratch is now 9. We have, uh, we got Blackjack against his bust, so we're going to keep that up. It's another 21 damage. The next scratch is lethal. Alright, we have 19 coming up. We're going to stand there. Two more damage. Almost there. And that's lethal. <laughs> Four mana, seven, seven. Negative three of diamonds is not going to help us play through our deck faster. So we're going to skip here. Uh, you cannot have my scratch, even though you're offering me a black lotus for it. Um... I don't want you. I would love to give you my king for that hall pass, though. Get that king out of my deck. Alright, and that's all she wrote. Now, him feeding me Charizards is going to be a pain, but I can just sell them back to him. So, that's fine. 21. I'm going to bust here. Which will allow me to play a whole bunch of cards. And he can take the 21 damage intended for me. Oh, 
That was some good luck on our part. Okay, there's his trap card. I'm gonna stand here. Dang. We need to get rid of that trap card. There we go. We'll take that three damage. I'm fine with that. We have a nearly lethal scratch now. Oh, well, I straight burned that card, huh? That works for me. Oh, we're going to sell off the Charizard. High Priestess is up next. We got Scratch. I think it's only up to five at this point, though. Yeah, so we almost have lethal, but not quite. Let's see if we can get that Scratch back. Sell the Charizard. All right, we can tie him. We take no damage for it. Hmm, we have to get out of jail free card. Let's keep looking for that scratch. There it is. And that's lethal. Uh, I'm not taking any of that. All right, and we're gonna call that uh, scratch and trap. <laughs> Though, this was definitely a scratch deck. The trap card was nice. We didn't build around it, as, obvious, as, as evidenced by the fact that we uh, just keep forgetting we had it. <laughs> All right, so that scratch. Let's see if we can get another deck archetype in. All righty, and we're back. Uh, we're going to do clubs again. Let's see what we get. We we get hosed. That's what we get. <laughs> Don't you dare hit a 21. All right. Get through the bartender. Okay. What's our deck today? Hmm. I would love, absolutely love, card sleeve if it went to your hand. That would be an amazing card. You could build a deck around it, and I would love to have that. Um, all of these are, are good cards. Um, ordinarily, I would take this, but we're on, we're on clubs, which means we don't heal off blackjacks. So the Get Well Soon card is actually pretty good for us. I'm going to go ahead and take that, and we'll figure out what archetype we build in the next two or three drafts we see. 12 against a drunk. Hmm. Three bad hits out of 12. I'm going to go ahead and hit. All right, 18 ain't bad. Definitely not. And that's lethal on the drunk. Nice quick round. Rules card. Uh. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, that's a uh, terminate the tower. <laughs> Okay, uh, right now, let's burn our six, as we always do. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why I was, uh, kind of drawing a blank there. Alright, well, we almost have the gambler down. 17. All right, we'll do one more. Just looking for that Terminate the Tower. Oh, yeah, no, he is super dead. That is 42 points of damage. <laughs> oh, man. To get the, the 21 of Hearts and the Dark Mage in the same draft, that's unfortunate. Um... I don't see a reason to draft the birthday card right now. Dark Mage is always good protection, though. We'll take that. It goes to your hand. Play is easy. Uh, I would love a 
I would love a random purge, but I can't risk it. I don't want to lose any of these three cards, and that represents uh, 5 out of 15, so... I'm sorry, that represents 3 out of 15. So that's basically a 1 in 5 chance of getting royally hosed. So we are... We are... We are going to lose some sleep. We can heal that up when we see our, our get well card. 15. Yeah, no. We 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 can we cannot play around that. Yeah, 19. We'll keep it. Thirteen against eighteen, with three bad hits out of eight. We bust. We take eighteen. Brings us down to seventy. That's three get well soon cards. I'm not in love with that idea. So we're just going to take the five here. We're going to play a bit conservatively. And our next card was a Dark Mage. Hate to see that. Alright, we're going to hit here. Well, are we? Three bad hits out of five, but we have the Dark Mage. And we have Lethal if we see Terminate the Tower. So we're going to risk it. Alright, we're going to heal up. Odds now became one in four of winning the game outright here. Alright, we didn't do it. So we're going to Dark Mage. We are going to Tribute... We're going to tribute the 7. Go back down to 15. We're only going to take 3 here. Uh, we want break limits. Alright. And we now have lethal. We are going to explode her jack. And she is dead. Hmm... I'll take the discard. Sure. Uh, I'll get another get well soon card. Um, I like a joker for sure. I think we're done. Well, that happened. With the janitor, I'm taking expulsion. I'm basically looking for him to bust when I have a 15 or higher. Dang. Well, we got to stand. We would have had lethal if we'd have played the expulsion, but that's fine. Fifteen. Okay, he has played nine of five and a ten. So statistically, we're looking at a five when he hits. He's not likely to bust, so now is not our chance to play Expulsion. We stand. Ha, <laughs> he busted anyway. Oh, well. And if he busted, we had Lethal regardless, so... Uh, no, none of this. Yeah, love my fortune told. Hit me. The devil. Hmm. I'm gonna pass on the devil. And the wheel... Okay, so this is... The free card gives you chips, no biggie. Choose a card in your draw pile and put it on top of your draw pile. Uh, we take the sun. <laughs> the sun, that is that is just way too good. Now, we're up against the manager, so it's less good than it otherwise would have been. Uh, with the manager, we take expulsion. We wait for our moment to take him out in one shot. Uh, we'll take two damage here. Okay, that's one business card accounted for. Uh, let's see. I rather like him having 13. And I'm keen on my jack, so we'll discard the business card. Ah, dang, he hit 19. And now I'm on 13. Three bad hits out of 10. I'm at 98, and I still have a get well soon. 
I'm, I'm willing to take 19 damage if I miss here. All right, we've got the Dark Mage, and we are now at three of nine, one in three chance of busting, and we did. All right, we're gonna tribute the nine. And we are now at a two and eight chance of busting again. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the chance, and we we got we got hosed for it. So we're taking 19 in the end. We we did our best to set something up, and it didn't happen. Hmm. Twelve. Um. I want the queen on top. The queen is a known entity. And so we have a three and a five. Three, four, five. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Now, he still has, what, two business cards left in that deck? So, things could get a bit tricky here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to take the ace. He's probably going to steal it. But there's not much he can do with an ace with 15. He didn't steal it. Now that is bizarre. He has to hit on 15. If he busts, then he dies. <laughs> if he draws his last business card... Then I go down to ten defense, and I take a, I take a, I take a huge hit. Well, no. If he steals either of my cards, he busts. He takes ten damage. So, the value of his deck right now is very high. His chance of busting is extremely high. I believe I'm going to go ahead and play the expulsion. Yep. Jack of... What is that? Clubs? Yeah. It kind of looks like a spade. But no, that's definitely a club. <laughs> 420 chips. Uh... The one thing I want more than anything right now is to purge that five. I'm not really looking to take anything else on right now, so we skip. Okay, giant rat. Twelve against a giant rat. So we have four bad hits out of sixteen. We still have a high enough health with two Get Well Soon cards. I'm willing to take the risk. And that panned out. Giant Rat's not going to bust. But he's definitely going to take 21 plus whatever the difference is in damage. Now he can also hit a 21. Which he just did because screw me, am I right? <laughs> oh well. Alright. Um... Not a whole lot of good stuff to copy. I am going to grab... I'm going to make it copy the three. I'm going to sweep the leg. Because that's the thing to do against the giant rat. Make him stand on 14. Hmm. I'm actually keen on putting the Get Well Soon card up. I would like to get my heal on. We're still in a great position. Ooh, okay, okay. Um... I don't know what I discard here. If I discard my get well soon, does that mean it does that mean it doesn't burn? 
It's already healed me, so let's find out. We're going to stand on 18. We saved it from burning. Okay, that's cool. That is good to know. Obviously, we're standing on 20. Got him down to 1. Oh, my eye for a scratch right now. Uh, 12. 1 in 4 chance of busting. Worst I can take is 4 damage here. No, 6 damage. We're going to stand. We're not going to mess with... Not going to mess with that. Alright. We beat the giant rat. None of you can do it for me. A Decromancer. This one... Well, thanks, Joker. This one might be a bit of a grind. Hmm... I'm staring down at 21 right now. I think with the Decromancer at full, I can make him bust right now by sweeping the leg. And that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to make him start standing on 14 so we can whittle away that health. So we're going to sweep the leg. We're going to do 17 here. Oh yeah, he's going to bust. <laughs> That's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to stand on 15. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just going to watch him eat dirt. Alright, look at that. We have healed the full. Ah, discard my get well soon. Do a nice quick 2 damage. And uh, this is where he uh, he gets hurt real bad. 28 points worth of hurt. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter which one I put on the draw pile. I'm getting them all regardless. 16. We'll stand. Nice, easy tie. And now, turning the tower is back in play. Nice, easy draw on 16. The Joker. Uh, let's copy the 9. And we'll stand with a 19. Hmm. I believe I would like a break limits in my hand. Okay, I have a dark mage. I want to hit again. Alright, let's do a little bit more damage. Hmm. Well, we'll take the King of Clubs. And we will stand on 18. Alright, we'll just do 18 damage. Yeah. Looking to see if there was a way I could turn that break limits into something, but I can't. Twenty-one. This is lethal. Gonna break the eight. And that's the Decromancer down. Um, honestly? I'm gonna take the 11 of spades here. a face card for a dark mage. I will definitely give him the three for that rules card, though. So that's going to happen. And I think we're just going to chill here. Alright, and we are off to a hot start. Nice, quick 11... I'm sorry, yeah, 11 damage because I beat him by 1 and I had a 10 of clubs. The 11 was of spades. 
All right. So at this point, I'm basically looking for lethal. So I'll take the expulsion. And that's lethal. It's already lethal. No, it's not lethal yet. Now it's lethal. And that's the collector down. All right. So that's just a nice, clean little terminate the tower deck. All right. Let's see what else we can do. All right, new game. Uh, we're going back with hearts. Sixteen, eh? Well, uh, well, that's an eleven, actually. That's a twelve now. Uh, brother. All right. Luck is not on my side. Um, let's see. That's a 9 and 5. So he's got the 2, 3. And 10. 3 is bad news for me. 2, then 3 is bad news for me. 10 is game over for him. So... That's what's on his side. What's on ours? We have a two and five chance of busting. I think the I think the better play is to bet on him busting. So we're gonna stand here. Dang, he got the three. Oh well. So now he's staring down the barrel of a twelve, but that twelve's not bad for him like it is for me. Gonna stand on seventeen. All right, we're gonna knock out the bartender eventually. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Okay. Well, we're already down 14 hit points against the bartender. That can happen in this game sometimes, though. All right. Now we finally end it. Good thing we're playing hearts. <laughs> uh, if I wasn't playing hearts, I might actually consider just re-rolling here and starting over. It's not like uh, the game tracks win streak or anything. Uh, let's grab a random card see what we get. Okay, Jack of all trades. I like that. Nah, I don't like a 16, though. Especially not when he gets super lucky with a 21 full of clubs. Alright. Even with a shield, that should be... Oh, nope, it's not lethal. Dang it. My bust limit is now 20, 22. Okay. Okay. Wait, what is it now? 20. Alright. So, yeah, I pretty much bust if I don't stand. Nonetheless, that's over. We could build around the Jack of All Trades, but I want to see what else we get. A Q card. Okay. Alright. Um... I... I just want to remove a card. At this point, it's going to be the six. Okay, that's good news all around for us. We needed that heal. Oh, wow. And we're going to heal up to full now. What a swing. Down almost 30 and then back to full. 21 of spades. I'm going to take the ace of spades, though, definitely. Um, I would like a random purge. Oh, my jack of all trades. Well, this has been one swingy run, hasn't it? <laughs> all right. So at this point, I don't have a coherent game plan going on yet. We're already at the poker player. That's not great. Uh, yeah, let's put that ace at the bottom of my draw pile. All right, we'll take one here. Boo. All right, let's look. We got a 50-50 shot here. Um, no, we don't. Ace is at the bottom. We bust three out of five times. We're staring down six damage. We'll take it. All right, so what does that mean for my ace? 
10, 21. Okay, we got Blackjack out of four cards next turn. A very bizarre four-card Blackjack. Well, now I feel less guilty. Dang, that's two 21s in a row for her. Yep. Wow. Okay, this is... Get a snack. This is going to be a while. <laughs> Put the ace on the bottom of the pile again. We don't do much damage, but we heal back up to full. And that's good. Um, I'm going to bet on you pasting. Yep. Still no coherent game plan. Sweep the leg. Okay. Well, dang. We're a bit late to be messing around with a 4-mana 7-7. Seven, seven. I would love, love to do a deck centered around the 4-mana 7-7 seven, seven because right now that's my favorite archetype. And I'll, I'll save the explanation for why for that video when I finally get a chance to make it. But that, that relies on me, you know, getting it early enough in the run to actually make a, a content video out of it. Um, there's, there's things I like here. I love that 21 of hearts. It's risky... But we're in hearts, so we're going to take that 21. We're going to take the jack of all trades. We still don't have a coherent game plan, but this gets us closer. We might be able to pull something out of the out of the tarot cards. One bad hit out of 13. All right, we'll take it. And that's the 21. Oh, well. It's going to happen sometimes. I'd love a dark mage, for obvious reasons. Leg has been swept. 15. Ace is at the bottom, or is it? No, it's not. Ace is somewhere. We're going to stand. Yeah, and then he's going to bust because his leg was swept. Mm, I don't mind a victim card here. It's free. It goes to the hand. It gets out of the way. I'll play opponent cannot hit next round. Unlocks and burns after opponent is blocked from hitting. These are all mediocre for what we have going on around. It doesn't it doesn't give our deck a theme yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the Emperor into play. I'm running hearts, so damage on both sides is better for me than if I were running, say, uh, clubs. Do not steal my ace, you jerk. Oh, haha. -ha. Sweep the leg. Don't steal my sweep the leg, either. Alright, we'll do 18 damage. Okay, still my queen. Not a big deal. Okay, this is all upside. He can't steal anything that... Oh, he has to stand on 15. He His leg got swept. Ha 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 ha. Sucker. Dang it. Um... Oh, he's busted. This is lethal. How good is sweep the leg?
we're gonna skip here. We have something semi-coherent. Ah, uh, how I was about to say, how lucky can I possibly get here? But nope. We'll take the 20. Alright, so both sides are going to take whatever the difference is. Oh, I am still going to take the, the full brunt of the damage, though. So that's not as good as I th initially thought. But there's my 21 of hearts. So I'm healed back up to full. I'm going to sweep the legs in here somewhere. Uh, I'm going to put my 21 of hearts on the bottom. It's an amazing card when you know where it's at. So we got two bad hits out of eight. Because 21 of hearts doesn't count. We know where it's at. So we, we have eight random cards to draw from and two bad hits amongst them. I'm willing to take that chance. Hmm. That was somewhat less than ideal. So now we're down to two of seven. I feel less good about those odds. I'm going to take the three damage here and be happy with it. Well, be less upset than I otherwise would be. All right, 20. All right, so when I play this out next turn, I'm looking at seven, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then I'm going to hit Blackjack the on the fifth card next turn. We're going to stand here. One, two, three, four. And we stand on 15. Stand on 14 because so is he. Four bad hits out of tw five bad, no. One bad hit out of 12, which is just a nine so far. No, that's awful. <laughs> that is awful. We stand on 14. Worst we can take is four damage here. One bad hit out of nine. And there it is. <laughs> I'll play my victim card. Oh, wow. He actually busted two. That's a rarity. Uh, no. We stand on 14. see what's in my deck. Um, I'm going to put the 21 at the bottom because that's what we do. Mm, yeah, we're going to stand on 19. Hmm. All right. We're going to stand on 20 here. We're going to stand on 10 here because the 21 of hearts is up next. We are almost there. We're going to stand on 15.
Stand on 15. And the 21 of hearts. This should be lethal. No, this is lethal. Period. Okay. Giant rat is down. Ooh. That's exactly what we want in a 21 of hearts deck. We take it. That's our insurance for 21 of hearts showing up when it's not supposed to. We're going to chill on 19. Stand on 20. Oh, this is the Black Lotus. I thought this was the Dark Wizard. Okay, I'm, I'm a fool. Okay. Um, well. That's interesting. That gives us an option. There's a victim card. Alright. We have two bad hits out of 11. He's already busted. I'm gonna hit. Well... Hmm, that's a shame. I, I don't think I can hit again after busting, right? <laughs> Three bad hits out of eight. I'm going to risk it. God. Okay, so now we are at one bad hit, two bad hits out of seven um that is not worth the difference between four and 18 damage to me we stand 21 of hearts is still in play one out of five chance of getting royally hosed i'm gonna take it okay oh dang cue card's not gonna put the 21 on the bottom of my deck. Um, so what do we have left in there? We have the 9 of hearts. We don't have any face cards left. So there's no point in putting the... Uh, Yeah, we, there's no point in putting... The... The ace down. I'm gonna lock down the two, actually. Okay, he's busted. We have a 1 in 5 chance of getting wrecked. But he's already busted, so I'm going to take the 1 in 5. Alright, sweep the leg. At this point, I'm not going to get greedy. I'm going to stand. That now gives us the 1 in 4 chance of the 21 of hearts immediately. Which we do not get. I think... So his leg is now swept. We have a 50-50 shot of seeing the 21 of hearts. I want to risk it. Alright, we got hosed. We're going to play the victim card in the Emperor. And we are going to stand. All right, so now we have 11 as crafted. That's a 12. Continue hitting. All right, we're going to play that out. 19, and we're going to stand. No. Our current hand array is not... Our face cards right there all together. We're going to stand on 13. 
We've swept his leg, so he should bust fairly often. Hmm. I would definitely like an Ace of Hearts on the bottom. Alright, that is good news for us. That is excellent news for us. That is good news for us. Dang. And the ace is the last one. We're going to stand on 15. I'll take a 20 here. He's one bad beat away from a loss. We're going to stand on 14. There's my 21 of hearts. Dang. He is really, uh, really standing in there. I'm going to stand on 15. I should have looked at my deck. I've lost count of... Oh, yeah. No, no. That, was a, that would have been a bad call. I would like my 21 hearts on the bottom of the deck. So we're going to stand on 12. Well, we're not going to stand on 12. We're going to make that a 20. We're going to stand on 20. And then we're playing the 21 of hearts. And that is the Decromancer. Okay. Very grindy style of deck, but man, the 21 of hearts does not disappoint. Um... So it's possible. <laughs> it is It is actually not possible for the card sleeve to lock the 21 of hearts because I'm not ever going to... <laughs> I'm never going to mess with it. I would kind of like... I, I would like to not see Gerald from Riviera in his deck. So here's the thing. Ordinarily, if the game were to continue after the collector, I would never make this trade because I don't want Gerald from Riviera in my deck. But I also don't want it in the collector's deck, so it's a conundrum. If I knew there was a purge right after the collector, that would be different, but we don't know that. I... Dang. I do not want him burning my 21 of hearts. I'm going to trade for the Gerald of Riviera, and I actually don't mind giving away my 5. That actually is a boon, too. I'm tired of seeing 15. So we are... We're going to skip the rest. Well, that ain't a great start. Good news is, his start's bad, too. And now... I have the benefit of being able to cue card that to the bottom of my deck. Which is what we're going to do right now. Standing on 17. Waiting for the sweep the leg. The sweep the leg is going gonna, is gonna to really hurt him some. Ooh, I got an ace up my sleeve. Awesome. Um, oh, he too has a 21 of hearts. Look at that. Mm, I'm going to stand on 18, I think. What's left? Yeah, I'm going to stand on 18. Really hope to draw the... Oh, that's a trap card. Okay, keep that in mind. Sweep the leg. Hmm. We're set to take 19 damage here. That was a good play by him. Really good play. But that's fine. I got my 21 of hearts coming up. Uh, we're going to end up standing on... No, we're going to have Blackjack. 
Oh yeah, this is this is a great great run for us. Okay, so we're gonna stand on thirteen because we have a really good hand set up for the next two turns. Take the victim card. Take the ten. Take the emperor. No! Oh 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 oh! That's on me. Okay, play the victim card. Dang it! I that was poor. So we had we had it all. <laughs> And, wow, we had it all, and huh, now it's an empire of dirt. <laughs> uh, you can have your Charizard back. Alright, 20 damage here, that's lethal. I'd have loved to heal up if there was, if there was more game after the Collector, but it is what it is. So, uh, I'd, I'd love an Ace of Hearts, sure. 21 of Hearts, really fun deck. Uh, I played it very poorly. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I think that's going to be the end of my little deck showcase today. Uh, thank you for joining me. I had a great time. Hope you did too. And I will see you around.